everyone, welcome to Church at Home. My name is Ariel, and we've been talking all about Jesus and how he is the very best friend. Jesus loves us so much, and that's why he is such a good friend. But there's something else really cool about Jesus. He actually shows us how to be a good friend too. That reminds me of our big idea for today. When I'm friends with Jesus, he shows me how to be a good friend. You know, let's say that together on three. Ready? One, two, three. When I'm friends with Jesus, he shows me how to be a good friend. When we read the Bible and learn more about Jesus, we learn how to be a good friend by doing and saying the things he did and said. He was always kind to people and loved them. I know the perfect song all about the amazing love of Jesus, and it's called This Love. Let's stand and sing it right now. This song we're gonna sing is all about God's love for us. It's called This Love. We're gonna start by singing, oh we oh, this love, this love. Are you guys ready to do that with me? Okay, hands up. Oh we oh, this love, this love. Let's do it again. I'm so glad Jesus loves me and he loves you too. He loves everyone in the whole entire world. 
Jesus is a good friend because of how much he loves us. But he's also a good friend because he puts other people first. There's a really cool story about a time Jesus put other people first too. And we can read it here in this book. It's the Bible. The Bible is God's special book for us. And it's a book from God that tells us real stories about people and places from a long time ago. Let's put on our listening ears and our thinking caps and watch our Bible story. Stories of the Bible. Jesus washes his disciples' feet. This is Jesus. Hey -o! Who is the Son of God and the Savior of the world. While Jesus was on earth, he taught everyone about God's love. He healed many people from their sickness, performed many miracles like calming storms, and even raised people from the dead. Wahoo! At this time, the Jewish people were celebrating a festival called Passover that had been celebrated since the time of Moses when God brought his people out of Egypt. So Jesus and his disciples went to Jerusalem to celebrate. Jesus had 12 men who followed him through his ministry. They were called his disciples. Jesus and his disciples gathered for one final meal together. Jesus got up from the table, took off his robe, and began to wash his disciples' feet. Jesus loved his disciples, and he knew the time was coming for him to leave them and return to heaven. When Jesus came to Peter, he said, Whoa, 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 wait! Are you going to wash my feet? Jesus said, You don't understand what I'm doing now, but someday you will. Peter said, you will never wash my feet. But Jesus then told him that unless he washed his feet, he would not belong to him. Oh, well then, okay! Then Peter said, then wash my hands and head as well, not just my feet. But Jesus told him that was not necessary. He just needed to wash his feet for Peter to become clean. So Jesus finished washing their feet and said that the disciples should do to others as he had done for them. He told them to follow the example that he had set for them to serve each other and not think of themselves as greater than any other. Then God would bless them for doing as Jesus had taught them to do. Wow, Jesus did something that no one else wanted to do. Wash the disciples' feet. That must have been a lot of dirty feet. But he did it because he was a really good friend and he showed love to every single person he met. There was something really important Jesus said in that story. He said, do as I have done to you. That means Jesus actually wants us to put our friends first too, just like he did. He was showing us how to be a good friend. We can be good friends like Jesus too. One way we can do that is by showing love to everyone. I have a really special verse that I wanna share from the Bible with you, and it's all about love. And I can't wait to show it to you, but, oh no, it's covered with bubbles. Can you guys help me pop all the bubbles? All right guys, grab some bubbles if you have them, and let's go. Okay, everybody, it's bubble popping time. A bubble on the left, a bubble on the right, bubble up high and bubble down low. There's a bubble, there's a bubble, there's a bubble, there's a bubble. Wait, that's not a bubble, that's a bubble. Does everybody know what the bubble is? I don't, but I'm gonna find out when we pop the bubbles. Bubble popping party people, let's keep it going, yay! Pop them to the left, pop them to the right. Pop them over here and pop them by the side. That's it. All right, all right. Keep going. Yay. We're almost there. We're at the pop. Exactly 23 and a half bubbles left. Okay, ready? Go. One, two, three. Keep going. That's the bubble. That's the bubble. That's the bubble. That's the bubble. Oh, too many bees. <laughs> pop them over here. Pop them over there. Pop them on the ground and pop them in the air. Got it. 
Okay, you did it. Now we can see our Bible verse, John 13, 34. And it says this. So now I'm giving you a new commandment. Love each other. Just as I have loved you, you should love each other. Let's sing that song together right now. Let's stand up and get ready to sing and dance to our Bible verse song. We're gonna sing John 13, 34. You guys, these are the words that Jesus said to us. So now I'm giving you a new commandment. Let's sing it together. So now I'm giving you a new commandment, love each other, just as I have loved you. You should love each other, yeah, you should love each other. John 13, 34, sing out love. Love, 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 love each other, yeah. All right, you guys, we're gonna sing that all over again. Let me see you stomp your feet. So now I'm giving you a new commandment. Love each other just as I have loved you. You should love each other. Yeah, you should love each other. John 13, 34. You guys, get ready to clap your hands. Here we go. All right, we're gonna sing that whole thing over again. So now I'm giving you a new commandment. Love each other just as I have loved you. Let me hear you sing it out. So now I'm giving you a new commandment. Love each other just as I have loved you. You should love each other. Yeah, you should love each other. Sing love. Love, 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 love each other, yeah. All right, you guys, great job singing that song. All right, nice job singing and dancing, everyone. That song reminds us that Jesus loves us and that he wants us to love others too. We can be good friends like Jesus when we love others and we put them first. You can put other people first by paying attention to their feelings and asking them how they're doing, by praying for them, by helping take care of them if they're sad or hurt, or by letting them have a turn first. Oh, I bet Jim and Gip have some more ideas too. Let's head to the clubhouse to see what they're up to today. Let's put in our listening ears and our thinking caps and check it out. And I am Giv. Thanks for coming to our clubhouse today. Today, I was thinking about what makes a good friend. What do you think, Gift? Hmm, I think you are a good friend because you say nice things about me and you also help me feel better when I'm sad. I think you're a good friend because you make special things for me and share your snacks with me. I wonder what our friends out there think. What makes your friend a good friend? Let's hear from two of our friends now. They are friends, but there's something else that's special about them too. Let's see. Hi, my name is Karis. And my name is Zoe. And we're sisters! Friends are awesome. Yeah, they cheer you up when you're sad. Like a joke! Yeah! Knock, knock. Who's there? Boo! Boo who? Don't cry, it was just a joke. <laughs> <laughs> Friends could also give each other gifts to show that they care. Just like this bracelet my friend Rainy gave me and this necklace my sister Zoe gave me. Sisters can also be friends too. Friends are awesome! Friends are awesome! <laughs> oh, hey, Melly! Hi! I think Karis and Zoe sound like great friends and sisters. I want to be friends with them. <laughs> what do you think about this, Melly? What makes someone a good friend to you? Hmm, well, Gus is a good friend to me. He always lets me have a turn, which is really nice. That is nice. And you know, there was someone in the Bible who was a really, really good friend. Who? Jesus! Jesus! Oh, <laughs> I 
should have guessed that. Jesus is the best. He is. And he showed us how to be a good friend when he washed his disciples' feet. <laughs> I wonder if that tickled. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. But I do know that Jesus showed his disciples that he loved them by doing that. He puts them first. And that's what made him such a good friend to them and to all of us. And we can be like Jesus and put others first too. How? Well, by all the ways you've already said, Gus puts you first by letting you have a turn. And Gif puts me first by sharing her snacks with me and making special things to give me. And Jim puts me first by saying kind words to me and helping me when I feel sad. Karis and Zoe taught us that we can be good friends by giving gifts to show that we care. Oh, wow. So when we do those things, we're being a good friend like Jesus? Yep. When we are friends with Jesus, he shows us how to be a good friend. And we can be a good friend to our friends. Yay! I want to be a good friend. <laughs> me too. Friends, you can be great friends too. I know you already are. Jesus wants to be your friend and he loves you so much. Oh, we love you too. Thanks for stopping by to see us today. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye. There's so many ways to be a good friend and put others first. Like Jim said, you can even share your snacks with someone to let them know that you love them. I love snacks, so I'd love it if someone shared snacks with me. If you ever need more ideas of how to be a good friend, you can read stories about Jesus in the Bible. He was the very best friend and he always did what was right. When we're friends with Jesus, he shows us how to be good friends. He will even help us be good friends too. Jesus is the best and I'm so glad that he loves us and that he wants to be our friend. Let's pray to our friend Jesus right now. So let's put five fingers here and five fingers here and put them together for a prayer. Jesus, thank you so much for loving us. Thank you for being our very best friend and showing us more and more how to be a good friend to others. Help us be good friends this week and remember to put other people first. We love you so much, amen. Thank you so much for joining us for Church at Home. And you know, even though we're done with our time here together, we have fun crafts and activity pages for you. You just have to have a grown up at home, go to saddlebackkids.com to check it out. And remember, our big idea for today is this. When we're friends with Jesus, he shows us how to be a good friend. All right, guys, we'll see you guys next time. Bye. Bye.